I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I am going to show you today how Chris and I make our kale salad. So when we first started this way of eating, um, we had a little bit of a hard time getting creative with our greens and we ate frozen broccoli pretty much every night. It was something that the kids liked. It was something we liked. It was easy. Uh, but since then we have now moved on to kale and we love it. We eat it pretty much every day and we prepare it the same way pretty much every day. So um, I am going to show you how we prepare our kale and how we enjoy it and I hope that you enjoy it too. So the first thing that we're going to do is take some bunches of kale. We need to tear them off their stalks. And we were lucky enough to find some beautiful kale at the grocery store. I save these for my little goats. We call them kale sticks. And they love them. They eat them up. So I'm just going to tear these off. Basically, you just hold the stalk, pinch the ends, and rip it right through. Easy peasy. And if you're actually trying to grow kale this year, I planted some seeds and I really hope it grows. We go through this stuff like crazy. And to have it fresh out of the garden would be awesome. And I just tear it up, put it into the salad spinner. And this is going to be a raw kale salad recipe. We don't cook it, we eat it raw. Kale sometimes gets dirty. I mean, well, it's, it's kind of dirty. It grows in the dirt. So I usually uh, triple wash mine. So I'm just going to fill it. Okay, now we've washed up the kale. Let's just spin this out. This one works nicely. Like that will break. Stop it. Okay, now we are going to transfer our kale into a bowl. I have actually used this bowl before too. It looks nice. Put the kale. I'll save the rest of that for later. So you want to fill the bowl. So what we put in our kale is um, we put liquid aminos. We put nutritional yeast. And we put a fresh lemon. So I am going to do the lemon first. Cut that in half. Watch your eyes, because sometimes the lemon juice will squeeze out all over the place. Yeah, that's half. We're going to use the whole lemon. Fresh lemon is so much better than lemon juice. And if you get lemon juice, get a good, um, get a good brand. I like to use the, um, when I run out of regular lemons, I use the Lakewood Organic Lemon Juice. Let me just show you. That's the brand that I prefer. It is called Lakewood Organic Pure Lemon but nothing beats a fresh lemon. I don't have exact measurements on this. That's why I wanted to do this in a video so I can just kind of show you. Um, I think it's probably a couple tablespoons of the nooch. So I just kind of sprinkle it across the top and then I go back. So I just do it, I guess that was three times I'll go over the salad. So that's probably two or three. It might be three tablespoons. And then we have our liquid aminos, which I'm starting to run out of. I have to get more. Uh, and the same thing. I just kind of squirt that over. I go down one time and go back another time. So that is probably about two tablespoons, I would say, of the liquid aminos. So from there, we need to massage this into the kale to get the kale nice and soft. So you can just get right in there and get it nice and soft. 
make sure all that lemon juice and the, the nooch gets all mixed right in. When people come over and they have this, um, they can't believe that the kale is not cooked. They think that it was that it's cooked up, but it's not. It's just massaged and it is raw. And it is delicious. Can't. Now we have our nice, fresh, beautiful bowl of greens that I cannot wait to eat. And hopefully you are having your six servings of greens a day, but um, this is one of the best. So enjoy your kale salad. This one's for you, Aunt Kathy. Thank you so much for all that you do. Love you. And um, be sure to check out my webpage at www.plantbasedbydenise.com and um, leave comments and like below. Thank you.